If I recorded every day of my life, I will show you of this day that I struggled to tie my hair. It was cultural day ahead of October 1st. After succeeding, I did a little twirl before I went out to spray my apartment with insecticide, which almost choked me, by the way. And then going to the office, I took this jerry can to get water from the office because my water situation had not been fixed. Only for me to struggle, come back with this and see that the water was back on. Although some of the taps were not working and needed to be fixed. Then I had some Gary because what is life without Gary when you're starving? <laughs> Am I the only one that loves looking at the clouds before it rains? It's like so pretty. Anywho, I strove to go get our uh, before the rain would start, made some noodles and enjoyed it with some light face as usual. Why if I recorded every day of my life, then I would show you my first Saturday in my new apartment and just like every other weekend in my life, mostly boring. So I tried to find a bakery I heard was situated close to my apartment and then that boy that I showed directed me there and I got bread. I tried the bread with some coffee and it wasn't bad. This was like a coconut flavor. Yeah. So light came on and I ironed my outfits for the week. Then I I set up my apartment put my bed in the other room and after everything i felt like i deserved some charcoal mask okay i was just feeling myself with this mask then i did a little cleaning and peeled this off both painful and satisfying at the same time i took a stroll to go get some things in the market but i needed to get cash first then i went to the market bought a couple of things and came home to make this dinner by bedtime my feet really hurt Come set up my apartment with me. After lazing around for a long time, I finally decided to set up my bed and some other things in my apartment. The work is not done like till now, but you know, basics, let's start from somewhere. So I moved the bed to the room I painted and I was already tired before I even began. I fixed my little curtain, arranged my skincare and tried to put my fridge in this part of the apartment but that did not work because the socket wasn't working so I struggled and moved my fridge to the side where it worked. Then I set up my living room, just basically put the table where I wanted it to be, swept the apartment, see me watching Netflix and sweeping. What a flex. Oh, I need to revamp my fridge. It's really old. Then I went on to try putting some flowers by the window. It kept falling, so I just gave up and came to the kitchen, cleaned it, set up my shoes in the other room, and that's it. I finally slept in my main bedroom, and then this was a Sunday in my life. I went back to reading and you guys have been binging a thousand splendid sons as sad and annoying as it is I've just been binging it so this was just like a typical Sunday in my life just eating reading cooking relaxing watching Netflix and just being me so when light came on I decided to make stew for the following day this good meat stew banged and then I did some stretches some arms workouts because I feel like my hands are becoming like christian mother after having some tea i decided to stroll and take a feel of the area i know all the corners because the previous night the gunshots really scared me and i needed to know my way around you know just in case why if i recorded every day of my life then i would show you that i started a 14 days habit building thing and i went back to exercising and of course i started with some stretches and yoga because that's the best way in my opinion to get back into exercising if you've been like busy and not exercising for a while so you can copy some of my routines if you like then i got ready for work it was a monday i think at this point i'm losing count and then i had a little tea green tea to just prepare myself for the day and it was like i knew what my day would be like because i had the most stressful day at work you guys i had the most stressful day when i got back i just wanted to lie down on the cold hard floor and just look at the ceiling I had oatmeal for dinner because I could not muster the strength to make anything else. Then I watched Netflix to sleep.
Wi-Fi recorded every day of my life Then I would show you that it was a public holiday and I woke up starving After making potatoes and eating with the leftover stew I had I got ready and headed out to the capital because I needed to go bulk shopping Maybe the video is out by now, maybe it's not, I don't know Anywho, after wasting so much time because the driver kept going back and forth trying to get passengers We finally had had the car full and then we headed to town you guys it was such a stressful time i got to town late but i did some shopping with my friend and then he took me back home like one hour away it's good to have good friends really and then i put everything in one place i had some dinner and some drink guess which drink this is then netflix and sleep why if I recorded every day of my life, then I would show you that I did some pilates, some stretches just to get my body really flexible because for some reason, old age is catching up with me. I'm not that old, but my body is getting old. Now I'm back to my era of making healthy meals because I was really going astray for a while with all the busyness and all the craziness of moving. Now I'm getting my routine back. Anywho, I went to work as usual and came back. As soon as I got back, I started putting everything that I had gotten the previous day from the market. Put everything in place and then I had this akbu that I bought and egusi soup that I made. It was so delicious because of this new way of cooking that I've learned. If you want to find out about it, keep following me. Here is everything I ate in a day as a corporate 9 to 5 girly. I had some tea before I made a breakfast of spinach, egg, potatoes, frittata. That's a mouthful. I just formed the name. <laughs> I ate in the office as usual. I had some snacks, biscuits and coffee for lunch. It's not really lunch because I mostly don't eat lunch at work. For dinner, I made this tasty goat meat pasta. Well, technically it's macaroni, not pasta, but it cooks really fast. Like it's really soft and really nice. I think this is the only macaroni I can stomach honestly i enjoyed it so much then i had some rufaida yogurt and egg roll because i was having the cravings in addition to the chocolate i had my life in the countryside has become quiet and boring just as i like it but what if i recorded every day of my life then i would show you those quiet and boring times because if I show you the travels and all the fun stuff and all the exciting adventures, then it only makes sense that I show you the quiet, the boring and the mundane things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is my life.